Thank you for watching our video. My name is Attorney Karan Singh with the Singh Law Firm, and today's video is going to be on healthcare powers of attorney. Healthcare powers of attorney are also commonly referred to as living wills, healthcare directives. These documents are essentially saying, in the event I am incapacitated and incapable of making any healthcare decisions for myself, I'm going to nominate certain individuals in a specific order to make these decisions for me. And not only am I going to be nominating individuals who are my, essentially my point person to make my healthcare decisions for me, I'm going to lay out my wishes, my directive in regards to certain aspects for my medical care, such as life support. If I'm ever deemed uh, brain dead, I'm put on life support and there is no viable survival option for me. Uh, I and the doctors have done everything they can possibly do to try to revive me and they've deemed me brain dead. I want to be taken off life support or I'd like to be left on life support. Those types of decisions, organ donation, would you like to donate organs or not? And if you do want to donate organs, do you want to donate any needed organs, specific organs, and also for what purposes? Some individuals are only comfortable donating for therapeutic and or um, organ replacement. However, some people are okay with those two options along with research facilities. Also covered in your healthcare directive will be things such as cremation versus burial and autopsy in an event there is a non-criminal death, the death where there was no criminal activity involved in the death of an individual, it was natural circumstances, do you want to give the power, an option, to your healthcare agent to have an autopsy conducted? Maybe the healthcare agent is curious to find out if the hospital did something negligent and the hospital is trying to cover it up. It gives them the freedom to elect. So these are some aspects of your healthcare directive which gives power to other individuals to make decisions for you in the event you, you cannot make them for yourself. Now, if you do not have a healthcare directive, no one other than yourself can make those decisions for you. So your loved ones would have to go to court and get a conservatorship over your health care to make those decisions. That's virtually asking the court's permission to make your decisions for you. So to get around this, your health care directive allows that process, allows that seamless transition to the people of your choice. So this segment was on the health care directive, also one aspect of your entire broad scheme of your estate plan which is comprised of a living trust, wills, financial powers of attorney, and today's subject, healthcare directives. I hope you found today's subject matter uh, informative, uh, and you can feel free to visit our YouTube channel and look at all the other videos we have, and also visit our website at www.singlawfirm.com and go to our blog and media section, and you can go to our video vault and look at all the previous videos that we have also um, published as well. Uh, enjoy, and definitely stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.